Antonio Marcel Igarales, Cuba's uh, most outstanding thinker and fighter for independence and equality and social progress for each and every one, could not take the fact that Cuba on the Spanish colonial rule was still a slave society in 1878 while the neighboring Haiti in 1793 already abolished slavery and the French, the British, the Dutch, the Danish had all abolished slavery in their respective colonies in the area from 1833 to 1865 um, uh, when, when the last one was then the United States. So when a portion of the army of the, of the Liberation Army said in San Juan in the year 70, uh, 1878 Yes, Mr. General Arsenio Martinez Campos, you as the leader of the Spaniards, um, we accept your proposal for some kind of an autonomy and the abolition of a few enslaved uh, Africans, especially those in the Liberation Army. Uh, as a response to that agreement in San Juan, Antonio Marcel Igarajales went on in a protest. He invited um, uh, General Arsenio Martinez Campos to come and talk with him and his men in a place called uh, Baragua. And uh, in Baragua, he told General Arsenio Martinez Campos clearly what we want is independence and the total abolition of the enslavement of people, being them Africans, indigenous, or Chinese, because all of those were enslaved by then, had people enslaved by then in Cuba. And as an admiration and appreciation coming in from the world to these bold ideas and stance of Antonio Maceo, we want to share with you in uh, this official book that is called Papeles de Maceo, a letter that appeared there uh, signed uh, April 17 of 1878 in New York by the Office of the American Foreign Anti-Slavery Society and it reads like this Dear Sir, I take great pleasure in, all, in the honor accorded me in addressing a distinguished uh, liberator like yourself my society has, re has read uh, with infinite pleasure your honorable and just demands in your recent conference with General Martinez Campos. You have demanded the immediate abolition of slavery as the price of your allegiance. It has not been the good fortune of many men in the history of the world to hold so honorable a position and none have held a more honorable one. All that has been accomplished in the long war of liberty for the human race has been at the hands of noble, unconquerable spirits like your own. Remember only that the path to honor and to glory lies in front of you. Remember the appeals of the half million of your enslaved fellow men whose only opportunity in this life to taste the fruits of freedom hands upon your action, upon your steadfastness to their cause, and thought death may come to you and to your noble army in your struggle against oppression, yet it is to be preferred rather than to surrender your most vital principles. The friends of liberty in America and in Europe are watching you in almost breathless anxiety as possibly the very last one of all that noble Cuban army to uphold successfully the flag of freedom. Let us hear from you. Let us know your wants. I remain noble, sir. Your humble servant, S. R. Scotchman, Secretary, in behalf of the American Foreign Anti-Slavery Society, written and duplicated. So all up here, right here, listening brothers and sisters, this is, uh, this is the letter. And uh, 
this letter should continue to play its role, signing admiration, signing up also um, uh, appreciation and steadfastness in each and every one following the example of Antonio Maceo Engelhardt, as we say. No independence without the total abolition of slavery. Freedom for all, meaning to say, peace, equality, social progress, and that is liberation. And that is our message to you, listening brothers and sisters, and uh, you viewers on Antonio Maceo. As I brilliant that is regarding the La Protesta de Baragua, the protest of Baragua, and the letter of admiration, appreciation, and support as written by the American Foreign Anti-Slavery Society on April the 17th, 1878 in New York. And I am uh, Eugene Gottfried, yours in uh, steadfast friendship. P please stay with us. Muchachos, el 22 se rompe el corojo. Dependencia. Cuando perdidas las esperanzas de libertad, como una estrella que iluminará nuestra conciencia, surgió Gallarda la gran protesta de Baragua. Maceo y Martínez Campos se entrevistaban Dejo escapar el titán de bronce su repulsión ¿Cómo pensar que con el sanjón todo termina? Después lanzó la invasión y los cubanos tan sojuzgados se rebelaban bajo unos mangos que al hoy mecerse quieren decir que como un coro aquellos Solo gritar 